Sometimes figuring out the address of an accessory decoder or sensor is like an accountant figuring your taxes on April 14th. Needless to say, it can be frustrating and intimidating. CAM Industries has provided a software utility program called the Paired I.O. Calculator. With this program, you don't have to be a geek calculating on a chalkboard to get the right address for your decoder or sensor. Select Start and All Programs, Train Tools, then Train Server Tools, and finally, Paired I.O. Calculator. Okay, here it is in a nutshell. There are two kinds of addressing, the NMRA addressing and linear addressing. The NMRA address has a base address and then the address of the function. Linear addressing was designed by the DCC manufacturers to get a single numeric address for the function. Confused? Well, with the I.O. calculator, you don't have to be. First thing is to select the type of decoder, whether it is paired or not paired. Use the breakout box to select a paired decoder with four paired addresses. This is an old standard and it's seen a great deal on accessory decoders which energizes the function at all times. With a paired decoder, there's a full on state and an off state for the function. Remember the function is always energized or on. The off state throws a turnout one way and the on state throws a turnout the opposite way. Another way of saying it is for every even number of function, there is a paired odd number. This causes the decoder to have more bids for each function. With that in mind, select a number on a linear address and select the conversion key and see the correct NMRA address. Now select the checkbox, non-paired, and see how the address changes. With non-paired, the functions act independently of each other. So with non-paired decoders, the function is either on, which energizes the function, or off. Converting to linear can be tough, but with the paired I.O. calculator, you can do it. Select another type of decoder. Sensor decoders can be hard, so let's try one with a starting NMRA address and the function output. Now convert to linear to arrive at the correct address. Why is this important? CAM software uses the NMRA base address and the function address. Remember to arrive at the correct address, you have to know if the decoder is paired or not, the number of functions on the decoder, either the linear address or the NMRA base address and the function. After that, CAM's calculator can do the rest for you. See there? Math is not that hard after all.